Hello friends, in this video I will repair this power supply. For the beginning, this is a high quality power supply and it's very expensive. As you can see this is a modular power supply, it's a small form factory and it's very expensive. So first of all let's see what we have here. Now I will turn on the power supply. As you can see, 5 volts power supply LED is on, after that 12 volts LED is on and minus 12 volts. But the 5 volts, minus 5 volts and 3.3 volts, they are not on. This tells me that we have a short circuit on 5 volts or 3.3 volts rail. Now let's check it. First of all let's check the high voltage capacitor. To be sure it's discharged. It's not discharged. I will discharge it. Now it's discharged. Now let's check here we have 3.3 volts, 5 volts, ground and 12 volts. And uh, these uh, 5 connections are other pins for small current. Now we have the beeper. This is ground. This is 12 volts. 12 volts is good, 5 volts, 5 volts is good, 3.3 volts, as you can see we have a short circuit on 3.3 volts rail. So the problem is on 3.3 volts. Now let's see. This rail comes from this. This is a shunt resistor. And after that comes on this, this uh, PCB. This one, this is a PCB that makes 5 and 3.3 volts. I have to take this PCB out and uh, find the problem. This is a very easy to solder, but it's a very complicated to unsolder. It was very difficult and it seems that uh, it's a problem here. You can see the circuit here. I hope that is not wire connected. Now let's check this board. I presume these are some MOSFETs. Is good, this one. It seems this MOSFET is bad. Let's check this one. So it seems this MOSFET is dead. Let's take out this MOSFET and test it. So this is that. I have to find another one and replace it. I didn't find exactly the same uh, MOSFET, but I found an equivalent and it's more powerful. And that's why I decided 
to change both of them on 3.3 volts rail. The package and the pins are the same. Now let's check if we have short circuits. Everything seems good. Now we have to put this module back. Now I've soldered back this small module. It's this one. And now let's make the first test. And now let's power on. It seems it's working. We solved the problem. Let's try this tester. The voltages are perfect. Let's discharge the capacitor. And now I will uh, solder back this module because I made it some for the test. Now I will uh, solder well. After I will put in the case and I will make the power test with the load. Now let's make the load test. It seems the load test works perfect. If you have any questions, please put it in a comment. And if you made it so far, please give a big like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.